Hey guys, how's it going? So if you clicked on this video, you're probably looking for a new USB Type-C adapter like this one or this one. So I'm going to explain why you shouldn't waste your money on adapters like this one, on generic ones, and why you should just buy one of these. So stay tuned. So this is the Kingston Nucleum USB-C hub and it is an excellent USB-C hub for the price. It is currently $76 on Amazon. Um, it is really nice, however, it's not perfect. So I did have a bit of trouble finding a good USB-C hub. So as you can see right here, I have my old one. It's called Dot Cool USB-C hub. So this is like a generic version of this one. The build quality on this is really good. It's aluminum, it's a metal finish. Uh, the cable is very sturdy and it didn't feel cheap at all. So it has practically the same functions as this one. So I'm going to start off with the good about the Kingston Nucleum. So obviously it's Kingston. It's not a generic brand or anything. It's a well-known company. You will have warranty, you will have support, all of that good stuff. With the generic one, it is obviously generic. There's no brand behind it. When this guy died on me about four months after I purchased it, I got in touch with the supplier and all they could do was refund me $5 on Amazon. So not very good support there. The design is very sleek, it's very compact, it feels sturdy, it has a nice metal finish. The dot cool does as well, it doesn't feel cheap. However, the build quality of the Kingston is much better. So the Nucleum offers a good selection of ports. It does not have Ethernet. For those of you who need Ethernet, um, this is not the hub for you, but for me it works perfectly. So it's got two USB-A type ports, a micro SD card slot, an SD card slot, and two USB-C ports. One of them you can charge your laptop with, and it has an HDMI port. The Dot Cool has practically the exact same uh, selection of ports. The only thing is that it only has one USB Type-C port and you can charge your laptop through this port. I found that the Nucleum does not overheat as much as the Dot Cool used to do. When I used to plug a lot of things onto this and charge my laptop at the same time, this used to overheat so much whereas the Nucleum does just overheat, just heats normally, but does not overheat. So I know there's a lot of rumors out there, and especially on Amazon reviews, that these things cause Wi-Fi problems, but with my MacBook Pro, I haven't had any Wi-Fi problems at all with either of them. Now, apart from durability, where the Nucleum really shines is you can connect as many external storage devices as you want and it won't disconnect whereas with this dot cool the generic one I, if i connected more than one for example hard drive it would disconnect and it wouldn't allow me to use it this guy works great even with the hdmi port connected to an external monitor and connecting several hard external hard drives and memory cards this would still work flawlessly this guy not so much the HDMI port stopped working two months after I bought it. For that reason, I had to get a USB-C to HDMI cable. So I got this cable and I was still using this until later on when it stopped working altogether. Okay, now to the couple of things I don't like about the Nucleum. So the first one is I wanted to transfer about 300 gigs of data between two external hard drives. So I connected both to the Nucleum, one to each USB port, and I started transferring the data, and about halfway through, it just disconnected. That's something that I don't like about it, but when you're transferring small amounts of data, like I just transferred like 20 gigabytes or 15, it worked fine. So I don't know if this is just a one-off fault, but I'm just letting you guys know what happened to me. You can never even attempt doing that with the dot cool. Now, the second thing that I kind of don't like about it is so when i recently got it i plugged it into my laptop and so i wanted to make use of this usb-c port and so i got the cable that i talked about earlier the usb-c to hdmi to connect to my monitor because i had it already set up in my monitor it was already connected so i plugged it in here and it didn't work 
I thought I was gonna see the image on my screen, but it didn't. So I had to get an HDMI cable, but it would have just been really nice to have it worked off the USB-C port. Okay, so my current setup right now, as you can see, is the Nucleum connected to one of the ports in my MacBook Pro, the charger connected to the Nucleum. So I'm charging my MacBook Pro through the Nucleum and then the Aki USB-C to HDMI cable that goes right into my external monitor. Thank you very much if you made it all the way to the end. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Consider subscribing for more videos like this one. And remember guys, don't let time slip through your hands. Seize the moment.